Hello, welcome back. Right, oh my goodness, I've been so excited about this one. This is my autumn setup in um, my custom Van der Speck um, B6 planner. This is in the tabac colour, which I just thought was the absolute best colour for autumn. It's so rich and the texture on it is just gorgeous. Right, okay, my goal is for this video not to spend the next hour <laughs> going through everything because I've crammed this guy. Look at this. Oh, it's so full. Um, there's a lot of new bits and pieces in here that um, you won't have seen from it before. Um, so the idea is, I think, just to give you a bit of a basic flip through. Um, so you can kind of just get some ideas if you want to, if you're just setting up your own um, autumn planner for now. Um, and then I think I'll do some videos later on, on some of the new systems and new inserts and that kind of stuff that I've put in here. Otherwise, I'm literally going to be here all day. You can tell I'm in for the long haul today because I have an ambitiously large cup of coffee, which, if you can tell, it's got a little sprinkling of chai spice. I'm not saying that I take autumn seriously, but I take autumn very seriously. So anyway, let me just uh, take a slurp. Let's go in, shall we? Right. Oh, colours. Colours, people. Oh, my God. I love neutrals. I really, really do. Um, but there's just something about this time of year that just makes me want to go all out on, like, the maroons, the golds, like, the copper... All those lovely rich browns, olive greens. Oh, it just makes me happy. It just makes my soul sing. It really does. Um, right then. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, the front of this, because it's a custom um, B6 van der Speck, um, it's a bit different to my A6 one, um, if you remember that one. This one's got much more um, in the way of pockets at the front. Um, I went for the secretarial flap, which I'll show you in a minute, um, and an extra pen loop because I just can't be without my Tombow these days. Um, so in the front pockets, I've just got some um, little bits of memo paper I've just hacked up because they're pretty, um, and some... Uh, journal cards um i've got i think three new sets at the moment there will be more um and as well in here i've got my contact details on these little um uh crystal task cards um again i'm just doing these little um like label stickers at the moment so i can change these up really easily um i've also got um some autumn washi um again the colors oh they're just making me so happy right now um and then in here as you can probably guess by now, um, there's more dot stickers for the season. There will be a lot more. Um, I've fallen out with my printer quite drastically, but I think we're back on board now. Um, if you noticed in the shop, there were um, my stickers were all running short. Behind the scenes, there was me pulling my hair out and just like just trying not to throw it out of the window. Um, but I think we're all good now. So um, I've also, can you see I've got an extra pen loop on there? Now that's not in the planner itself. It's a pen loop sticker, um, but all I've done on this one, um, I cut down um, one of my dashboards, um, just hacked the end off and rounded the corners. So if I poke it in here, not only is it a little bit of extra colour, but it's an extra pen loop. Um, I've had, if you can see these, um, I think it came as like a vintage set on AliExpress. Um, these are really nice for um, headings and that kind of thing. So at the moment, I tend to keep that um, hooked in the front and because there's quite a lot of chunk going on here, when I close it, if you can see, it doesn't really add too much. So I really like having that there at the moment. Um, okay, so I'll just whip that out of the way for a bit. So um, some of the things then um, you may be getting used to if you've seen um, any of my videos before, my setup videos. Um, I've got an inbox dashboard again, um, more journal cards, more sticky notes, kind of sandwiched in there with, um, clear plastic cover again just to protect all that front stuff from all of this stuff here and to make sure that if I've got my pen in there then it doesn't damage it or anything and on the back um more memo pages um again I've just got some little colored paper in case I want to use those for any notes anywhere um and some of my tiny little stickers these were um in the shop last autumn um as big stickers because I just I was just bored in front of the TV and doing autumn doodles. So I thought, hey, these need to be stickers, don't they really? Um, and I just thought, I just, I bet they're super cute if they're really small. And 
oh look they're really cute because they're super small um so i love those now so i'm gonna keep those there um in my inbox section i've just got um loads of plain paper so i can just label it as an add to planner or label it with anything um that i need to um again hopefully um you've heard me talk about an inbox um a bit of my planning before so i won't go into all of that now otherwise i really am going to be here for the next hour um but i've got another video on that one i'll link that down below for you if i remember um and then towards the back um i've got some brain dump pages um so well, we're into our first one of my proper sections so daily i had a bit of a think about this one because I didn't get on that well with my daily pages in my last video. Um, I kind of I set them up. I quite liked them. Didn't really use them. Um, and I thought, well, actually, I'm using the weekly ones more. But then I thought, what if the daily ones serve like a different kind of purpose? So this time, my daily section is all about how I'm feeling for the day and the bits and pieces that, for me, for my sake, I want to monitor in the day. So thinking about habits, thinking about self-care, thinking about exercise, but not like a schedule sort of thing. Um, the idea of this is that I plan it out at the start of the day um, and just see how I'm feeling. So I'll just show you how those vary. Um, so I've got some sticky notes on here and again, another um, clear plastic cover, just because again, it's helpful if I want to sandwich bits in between. Um, so, and again, on the inside here, I've got more stuff. I've got some teeny tiny dots. These are five millimeter dots rather than one centimeter dots. Um, and they're gonna fit in these little um, boxes on here as well, which I think is gonna be super cute. And some more sticky notes and journal cards, that kind of thing. Um, a quick side note then about deco. Um, I do think that I am um, a minimal functional planner because my actual pages, I like to have like very, very plain. I don't cover my pages um, in stickers. Every now and again, I might put one on there um, just because it's just fun. Um, I might add a little bit of washi, but my pages tend to be really plain. Um, but I do like it to look really welcoming for me and I do really like to decorate it because for me that's a part of my own little um, hobby and self-care time and that kind of thing. If I make time to make it look pretty it just makes me really happy um, and then I probably just don't touch it <laughs> but every time I open it I just get that sense of oh <laughs> and then it means that no matter how messy my pages are like I feel like it looks nice and it makes me happy. I know that's just that just seems really silly but works for me anyway back to these daily pages um so i've gotten here things like my gratitude and what's on my mind for like a little bit of um journaling um i've got a very brief bit for tasks and plans but for me that's not the point of these um i've got self-care habits and food plans because again for me that's part of how i feel for the day um, and a space down here for how I, um, for what I want to start doing, stop doing and continue doing from one day to the next. So again, it's really keeping an eye on like what I do and how I feel and how I act rather than that pure kind of to-do list, where am I going kind of thing. Um, I've got in here as well. Um, this is going to be holding the page of wherever I'm going to be for the day. Um, but I'm using this as kind of like a task card as well as a, um, a page marker. So um, I'm going to be adding a load of these um, printed labels, maybe customizable. I'm not too sure. Um, but for me, this is a sort of thing that every day I just want to bear in mind that I've done, um, whether it's literally like do the litter tray <laughs> or take some time out or spend some time with my cats um, because they just make me really happy too. Um, so I'll be using that then as a bit of a, a pretty page marker okay weekly um so again i've got um a thin cover on here um and again this is where my deco kind of happens um for this section more mini dots i think i did about four different colorways in these um and i think i did about four different colorways in these little page flags as well um i had fun i really did have fun um Again, more stickies, journal cards, washi tape. Not that I use it that much, but I kind of like the look of it. Um, and another folder as well. Um, and I'm carrying over from last time my little mini icon stickers because I just really enjoyed using those before. So my weekly spreads, 
um, are going to be similar to the ones that I used before. Um, I've been tweaking them a little bit. I mean, to be fair, really, ever since I finished um, setting up my summer planner, I've been mentally planning this planner. I've had like an actual section at the back saying autumn planner. I've been obsessing. So this is kind of the culmination of all of that kind of stuff for me, really. So this is um, like my extended day planner. So I've got three different columns um, for each day. Um, a space for tasks, a space for habits, and just the same as before, although not hole punched this time, I've got another journal card, which again, I'm using as my weekly um, task card. So I don't need to write down all of these as tasks. They're just kind of, just always what I'm gonna be thinking about. And again, um, it serves to be a bit of a bookmark as well for that week. So I've got, cause I can't really decide um, on what, I've, what I want to really be using. I've got a different layout here, which gives me more um, unstructured room for each day. And I've got um, another one here, which again, kind of like lists it going down. Um, again, like with a little bit less structure. Um, so I can try that out too, because I just like changing it up a little bit. I don't really think there's ever going to be one system that totally works. And I want to stay with it forever. Because God, life changes a lot, doesn't it? And like, it seems like every month or so, like I have different things to, to deal with or life is a little bit different or something. So kind of like changing it up. Um, then I've got my monthly section. Um, again, sticky notes, again, clear cover. Um, and inside, this is where I've got my deco. How cute are these? Look, these are little sticky notes. I got these off AliExpress. They're just the cutest thing ever. Um, more page flags as well. So I just like having these folders, um, one for a pop of colour <laughs> and also um, they're just handy to keep bits and pieces in as if I didn't have enough pockets in this whole planner. Huh? Um, so more stickers as well. And then I've got just a really, really basic month spread, quite similar to the one I had in my last uh, mass planner. If you remember my last one, it was personal size. Um, and I think this one shows the difference quite well between personal and personal wide. Um, because it's almost like in personal wide, I've got like an extra columns width um, on the page, which I think is really handy. This is a B6 planner um, with personal wide paper and personal wide is um, five millimeters less on um, on the sides and the top. So or bottom, it's the same, isn't it really? Um, so it fits really well. I just think if anything, you kind of get a little bit more room for your tabs, top and bottom. So I think that works. Um, and here I've got um, one of my task cards um, and I've just added some stickers into that as well so I can see um, what I'm going to be working on each month. It's not necessarily that I want to schedule these things. I just want to make sure that when I'm looking um, at my month overview for a bit of a reference guide, um, I just think, you know, like, well, have I done all of that kind of stuff at some point throughout the month? So I find that really helps. Um, and just the little sticker as well saying monthly. So it acts as a bit of a bookmark for me so I can see where I am. That one's really straightforward. Notes, again, as you can probably gather, really, really straightforward as well. Um, and a bit more deco, more dots, that kind of thing. Um, and this time um, I've made myself a little bookmark. Um, I was doing the little ribbon ones before, but I just felt the need to kind of like go a little bit more extra. I can't decide actually whether to go for a tiny little one or a bigger one. I made this one first of all um, and then thought I just needed to supersize it. So <laughs> there we go. Um, the idea is of this that you can just kind of clip it on and it'll just be something a little bit nice at the bottom of your panel poking out or um, just as a really useful little bookmark. But to be fair, I'm going to see how I get on with that. I don't normally go in for charms, um, but I quite like this one. I thought that was quite nice. I got um, this leaf from um, a shop on Etsy. Um, as with these as well and these tassels, so um, I'll link those down below um, so you can get some if you want to. And again, just plain paper. Um, the plain grid style again, I tend to do either like the grid one or the classic um, design with my inserts. I just really like these at the moment and I like having like this blank header um, so I can just turn it into whatever I want. Um, lots and lots and lots of note paper and then we've got the archive section at the end. Um, I mentioned this in my, um, I think it was the August plan with me video. Um, I really like having an archive section at the end because 
for me it's where I keep my spares or if I've used up some daily or weekly pages but I don't really want to part with them yet I tend to archive them um so I know they're there if I want to refer to them and then if I don't I chuck them basically but um I also like keeping um some clear tabs in there as well so I can organize any spare inserts I might have um although to be fair I don't think I can really fit anything else into this for now um so I've got more dot stickers again and another journal card um a swatch collection here which one I can get around to it I'll put on the site as a freebie um let's just say I had a little bit of an accidental spend okay accidental maybe not so much I had I had a spend um <laughs> when I found that the Tombow pens were on um Amazon so I now own enough that I need to do a swatch of each one because well it makes me happy and I just do anyway so we've got the um the clue tabs there and this as well you'll notice a theme I got from Amazon um this is actually supposed to be a b6 wallet although as you can see compared to the planner itself it's a little bit bigger um I'll probably take this out most of the time um but I just think it's quite handy just to keep my bits and pieces in there um how cute is this card I got from AliExpress look the pussycat sleeps all day jealous um <laughs> So as well, I've got um, a page lifter. I'm just trying these out at the moment. Um, technically a page lifter is supposed to stop the last um, sheet in your planner getting all like ripped and curled around your pages. Um, and in the back as well, again, it's like a little extra pop of color. Um, I've just got a spare dashboard that I've rounded the corners of. Um, more of my little tiny stickers. And again, more washi, just plain this time. Um, and my trusty pilot friction pen because I make so many mistakes and change and cancel things so often. I just really value it being erasable. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Oh, that was record time. How long have we been talking for? 17 minutes. Oh, hang on. Time for a sip of coffee. Okay. So I hope that gave you. Um, I guess if nothing else a chance to sit for 17 minutes and do nothing if you're still with me um i hope if nothing else it gave you like a, a just a really nice warm colorful look through my planner um and yeah there we go so i'll be back with some more videos um to go through some of these things in a bit more detail like my um task card system i've been working on for ages um and how to use some of the inserts that kind of thing um but for now i'm gonna shut up because this coffee is going really cold so yeah i'm out i hope you enjoyed that um if you did give it a like um if as well as anything else that you would like to see um please comment down below and tell me what you'd like um and as well as that if you know anyone um who is similarly planner obsessed um then just share the video please share the love um and can i just give a big shout out to the back pocket in this planner oh my god if you haven't got yourself a van der Speck planner yet just oh do yourself a favor <clears throat> so nice anyway i'm off thank you very much for watching thank you bye bye